uh, Mirage uh, series, we will look at how to use the three operating systems that I have here, and uh, which is the regular 3.2 operating system that should be on every sound disc that you're using. There's the uh, Mirage Advanced Sampling Operating System, or Mesos. And there is, of course, the Sound Process Operating System. And when you work with the Mirage, you will familiarize yourself with the uh, hexadecimal system. And it's actually uh, not so complicated or difficult to understand. And when working with uh, other samplers, uh, you might be used to just sample your sound into it without having to think where into its memory you're sampling. In the Mirage, uh, you sometimes need to allocate memory to your sample before you hit the sample and enter buttons. And that's mostly, or actually uh, only the case when you do a multi-sampling. So you have to tell the Mirage where to put the sound in his memory. It works with um, sample pages. Each number that you see or each letter that you see in the um, Mirage display represents one sample page. And the hexadecimal system works with uh, numbers and letters. So it goes from a zero, zero, which is a value of a zero, all the way up to nine, and then it changes to letters all the way through uh, F, which is a value of 15. So 1.0 is a value of 16. So that means that 2.0 is a value of 32, etc. Well, this goes all the way up to a 9F, and then it changes from letters, from numbers to letters, so it starts with A, and goes all the way to A, F, and so forth, all the way up, 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 to FF. The Mirage uh, uses 16 times 16 uh, sample pages, which is 256 sample pages, yes. Now each sample page is 256 samples in length, so a memory bank, upper or lower, um, is 256 sample pages times 256 samples, so each bank is 65,536 samples, which equals 64 kilobytes. I hope this explains it a little bit. Uh, we'll just work with it and um, explain some more when we have to.